In problem three, we're given this uniform plate, and that refers to the density of the plate. The plate's the density is the same throughout, so we're, it's called a uniform plate. And they give us the dimensions of L, so 2L, 4L, L, all that, uh, where L equals 5 centimeters, and we're asked to find the center of mass of this object. So what we're going to do is we're going to break it down into symmetrical pieces. So here's a rectangle. Here is a great big long rectangle. And here is a square. We're going to find the center of mass of each of three sections. And then we'll treat the problem uh, as a collection of three point masses, with each point mass representing the mass of each rectangle located at its center of mass. Okay, so I've drawn little dots here to represent the centers of mass of those three areas of the plate. Uh, it's key that those areas are symmetrical, because when they're symmetrical and uniform density, it's very easy to find the center of mass of that piece. It's just the, the center. You find the middle x uh, location, and you find the middle y location, and that will be the xy coordinates of the center of mass of that piece. Then we're going to use our equation for finding the center of mass between a collection of points. We're going to apply our equation in the x to get the x-coordinate of the center of mass, and we're going to apply the equation in the y to get the y-coordinate of the center of mass. Now they don't tell us what the total mass is, nor do they tell us the mass of each piece, so what we have to do is a little analysis. We know that mass is density times volume. Okay, so density is usually represented by the Greek letter rho. And that's what the Greek letter rho looks like right there. It's kind of like a cursive P. And then the volume of some three-dimensional object is the area times the thickness. And what we're going to find is that when we use thickness in the total mass, and when we use thickness in the mass of each piece, that those thicknesses cancel. Okay, so you can see here, the total mass is density times the total area times the thickness, and the mass of each piece is density times the area of each piece times thickness. And so the thickness cancels, the density cancels, and we see that, in other words, the ratio of the area of the piece to the total area is the same ratio as the mass of that piece to the total mass. So that's the key idea here, is that we can get by without knowing the actual mass because the ratios of the area to the total area is the same as the ratio of the mass to the total mass, and that's what we showed right here. Okay, so I've simplified this equation now that we've canceled some things out. And here's how we'll calculate our x com, and here's how we'll calculate our y com. Notice that in the x equation, we're using the x value for the coordinate, and for the center of mass in the y, we're using the y value of the coordinates of the locations of these dots. Okay, so now let's plug in some numbers. Here we go. Uh, I did it algebraically with L first. Uh, before I plugged in 5 for L. Not necessary, but that's the way I did it. Okay, so the total area is the sum of these three areas. So you can see the, the first rectangle is L by 4L. So there's my area, 4L squared. The area of the second piece is 2L by 2L. So multiplying base times height gives me 4L squared. And then this one here, this great long uh, rectangle is 4L plus 3L, which is 7L by 2L. So there's the area of my third piece, and I add up this column to get the total area of the plate, 22L squared. So there is my total area, 22L squared. Then for each of these three rectangles, the X location times the area so I have to figure out what are the x, y coordinates of these center of mass points. 
So halfway between 4L is 2L. So since L is 5, that's 20. So half of that is 10. And then over here, half of 10 is 5, but it's in the negative direction. And here, half of 10 is 5, but in the positive direction. So positive 5, negative 5, and 10 are my x-coordinates of those points. So the first one had an area of 4L squared, so 4L squared times 10. The second had an area of 4L squared times its x position of 5. And the third had an area of 14L squared times its x position of negative 5. Then I uh, see the L squareds cancel out. So I didn't have to plug 5 in there. Uh, so I just saved myself a little work. By keeping the L squared there, it canceled out of the equation. And now I can do the math and come up with the location of the x coordinate of my center of mass. I repeat the process for the y coordinate, but now I use the areas times the y values. So here we see that this center piece is 12.5 in the y direction. This one is negative 2.5 in the y direction. And this one here is negative 15 in the y direction. There are my y values. And once again, the L squareds cancel out. And I'm left with my value for the y coordinate of the center of mass, negative 2. So the center of mass of this plate is located at x equals negative 0.45, y equals negative 2.